Hi everyone, welcome to Real Mom Reactions. I'm Mom, and I love to watch and react to TV shows and movies. If you like that kind of content, please hit that like button, hit subscribe, click that notification bell, and better yet, please comment. I love engaging with you guys, I love hearing your thoughts and about the content as well as the my reaction, and I love engaging with you guys. So, today I'm watching Ahsoka Season 1, Episode 1. Full disclosure, I haven't seen any of the Rebels uh, series, and I have only seen a couple episodes of the Clone Wars series, and so I know little to nothing about Ahsoka, about the Rebels, and these different characters that I'm hearing about. Uh, what I did do was I actually watched a video on YouTube, obviously, uh, Screen Crush had a great primer video, it was 30 minutes long, and it basically caught you up to speed about ah um, Ahsoka's like backstory and her history with the Rebels and exactly who the Rebel characters were and everything like that. So thank you Screen Crush. I will put a link to that video uh, below in the description. And then if you guys are also like me and know nothing about Ahsoka, that would be a good place to start. So I am very excited. Even though I know very little about Ahsoka, what I do know of her and what I've seen from Mandalorian and Book of Boba Fett, I love her. She is so cool. Um, you know, obviously I saw her in the Clone Wars movie and so I was introduced to a very young Ahsoka and she was just cute and awesome and kick-ass as a little, little one, um, as an adult when she came in for the Mandalorian. So... Uh, I'm very excited to learn more about her character and see where she's going from here. So, let's get started in 3, 2, 1, let's go! Everything's very red and ominous. What does that mean? Oh, we get a crawl, okay. Evil Galactic Empire has fallen and the Republic has taken its place. So I think this is happening between episode 6 and 7, right? A plot is underway to find the lost Imperial Grand Admiral Thrawn. Thrawn, I am well aware of since I've read the books, Heir to the Empire and Onward, you know, which are considered now non-canon, but I'm really glad that they're introducing Thrawn as canon. Awesome. He's a great villain. All right. Start another war. Yep. Former Jedi, Asaka Tano. Captured one of Thrawn's allies. Yep. Learned of a secret map. Right. We saw that, I believe, in The Mandalorian. Yep. Okay. Awesome. I am caught up. The traditional uh, ship coming into view. Star Wars loves to do that. I like tradition. <laughs> it isn't home one. Security alert. Well, it's an Imperial shuttle. Eight zero four. The signal is an old Jedi clearance code. They say they're here to see the prisoner. They look like Jedi. They have the cloaks and stuff. You put on a good show, but I don't buy it. I don't understand. You're no Jedi. Just some overconfident Imperial trash who just push their luck too far. Oh, red lightsaber, bad, bad. Not Sith, but I don't know who they are. Is he gonna make him shoot himself? Oh no. Okay. Oh, okay. He's got a hole in his heart instead. Okay. This is very reminiscent of Darth Vader's walk along the halls, right? Of the Princess Leia ship. White corridors and everything. Black robes. So he's not Sith, but he's a Dark Force user, right? She knows about Thrawn. Who is this Jedi? Ahsoka? Tana. That's right. Okay. Where are we? Ruins of some sort? Jedi ruins. Can't be Sith temple ruins because it's too light, right? So it must be Jedi temple ruins? They really did a great job of her, you know, making her a live adaptation from the Animation, they did a great job. Rosario Dawson's amazing. Oh! That was so cool! 
Oh man, what a great shot. That's awesome. This is giving me Raiders of the Lost Ark vibes. And the statues are kind of freaking me out with their black eyes. I feel like there's someone behind them. Mm -hmm. Watch out for booby traps. Yeah, watch out for lasers going from one orb to the other or something. And something crazy is about to happen. Oh, it's crumbling. Oh, um, should you be doing that? Oh, okay, maybe. <laughs> okay, phew! It was just the packaging. So it's an orb. Okay, that makes sense. <laughs> That's cool. What is that? That's a cool looking droid. Us. Ooh! There's more than one! Oh! Assassin droids, I guess. Ooh, there's four of them. Alright, kick their ass, Asako. Come on! Watch out for the hole behind you! Um, big hole behind you. Don't one step back, don't step back. Oh! <laughs> That's cool! Nice! Nice, nice, nice. Uh-oh. Wow, they gave up pretty easy, huh? Run, 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 run! No, you won't keep going. Why is it taking so long for them to self-destruct? Like, that was a really long countdown. Force jump! Go, 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 go! Wow, that was pretty powerful self-destruct mode. What the heck? How did you get her to tell the truth? Let's just say I didn't follow standard Jedi protocol. Ooh, did she torture her? Did she torture her? That's a cool ship. What's the name of this ship that she's piloting right now? That's cool. I like how the wings go from vertical to horizontal and it's awesome. Okay, I know this is Hera from the video that I saw, so... Not just any star map. This one holds the secret Morgan's after. Which is? The location of the last missing Imperial Grand Admiral. Thrawn. Thrawn. If Thrawn survived, does that mean Ezra? I hope so. Maybe. Nothing is. You know who could help you with this? I do. I'm not sure she'll want to help. She'll do it. For Ezra. I think she's talking about Sabine Wren, right? Let me guess, Sabine. Sure, this, this scene reminds me of Maverick and Top Gun when he's on his motorcycle going down the highway. <laughs> what are they gonna do? They gonna play chicken with her? They're gonna put a blockade on her? She's just gonna go over you. Yeah, I think so. Oh, okay. She chose the under route. Oh, he's giving up. Damn. Okay. That was pretty easy. Space cat. I know there's a specific name for this cat, but I don't remember it. Oh, that's right. She's Mandalorian. Hmm. Ezra! I'm disappearing on you. As a Jedi, sometimes you have to make the decision no one else can. So, that's what I did to defeat Thrawn. We're not really family, but you're like a sister to me. 
Ouch. Aren't they supposed to be like liking each other? I thought they liked each other more than friends. Am I wrong? Please tell me in the comments. Uh, should I be shipping them two together or no? What was this place? An ancient temple built by my ancestors. The Night Sisters. Oh. Oh, so not a Jedi temple. That makes sense. Why would the star map be in a Jedi temple? Do as she says. Oh, she's got a. Why Lothal? She's got a Padawan braid. What thread is she spinning? No, it's not witchcraft. Ahsoka Tano's former apprentice is on Lothal. You're looking oh. for Sabine Wren. So that makes sense then. So this guy must have been a Jedi right at some point and survived the purge and is now no longer a jedi obviously and has an apprentice now the padawan it looks like greetings Sabine. Mm. hello hu yang still in one piece oh yes and still 75 percent original parts <laughs> that's pretty good well then Awkward. I think I know how to find Ezra. That's probably the best way to get her interested to helping you. Is this whole her old bunk? I guess that she drew those pictures. Don't you ever get tired of moving from one place to another? I go where I'm needed. Not always. Ooh. You never make things easy. Why should I? You never made things easy for me, Master. Wow, they got a lot of history. A lot of resentment in there. The map stays here. Okay. She's gonna take it anyway. Like, you can see that look in her eye, right? Like, she's like, Ahsoka should have taken the map from her. <laughs> so definitely hmm. Jedi trained. Yes. See, yep. Now, the last 500 years, I've only known one student who built a saber such as this. Balan Skull. He disappeared at the end of the Clone Wars. Like so many Jedi. Yep, used to be a Jedi. Told ya, Ahsoka should have taken the star map with her. Not left it there. I don't understand why things have to be so difficult. Well, considering your history, I'd say that's expected. But you and I both know Sabine gives you the best chance of reading that map. So I guess they've always had kind of a contentious relationship? She's still just as stubborn and bullish as ever. <laughs> She's Mandalorian. Oh yeah, there's you that too. You knew what you were getting into. I bet your master found you difficult at times. Hmm. Anakin never got to finish my training. Before the end of the Clone Wars, I walked away from him. And the Jedi. Just like I walked away from Sabine. Why did you walk away from Sabine? I still don't know. You guys know? Please tell me in the comments. What were her reasons? Sometimes even the right reasons have the wrong consequences. Yes. What do we do then? I don't know, why do you keep running away, Asoka? Isn't that a Celtic symbol for something? Did they use that in Charmed or something? <laughs> in the Charmed TV show? Wasn't that that simple? <laughs> oh. So you're saying this is a Rubik's Cube? Really? And the droid couldn't figure out a Rubik's Cube and this pattern? No, come on. But anyway. 
That is cool. Ooh. To another galaxy. Thrawn's galaxy. This is it. Oh. Ow! Didn't you break your hand punching metal? Oh, crap. Oh, yeah, great. Now they've got the map. And they're destroying all the evidence. See how good the Padawans are. Oh boy. Just how much training has Sabine actually had? Doesn't look like a lot. Yeah, we definitely need more training, girly. Oh, nice bat bend. Oh, come on, girl. Oh! Oh! Gut shot, hello! And you know they're not gonna kill off Sabine. So, no. Ugh, brother. And that's how they're gonna end it? Oh yeah, I heard about the actor that was Balin passed away, so I think he was Ray, right? Yeah, he's really good. Like, the guy who played Balin was very, like, intimidating. Like, he was broad, and he was like, even though he was older, like, he had a presence about him. He was very cool, so... <clears throat> R.I.P. to the actor, Ray. So, um, yeah, so there's absolutely no cliffhanger. We know Sabine is not going to die. Um, obviously, that's a painful wound. And we've seen people in Star Wars come back from much, much worse wounds uh, inflicted by a lightsaber. <laughs> in fact, being cut in half, people have survived. So, you know, obviously we know Sabine is going to survive. And, you know, like I said, no cliffhanger or anxiety over that one. Um, I feel like I feel like because I didn't see Rebels, I lost a lot of like kind of Easter eggs, like probably small things, like you know, watching kind of that the recap or kind of the um, the primer before Ahsoka. You know, I did know who Hera was. I did know who Sabine was, and kind of their relationships with Kanan and Ezra, and you know what they did in, in Rebels. It was summarized, but because I didn't actually watch the series, I feel like I missed out on a lot of interactions, like the whole the whole awkwardness and kind of conflict and kind of tension between Sabine and Ahsoka, like. I don't know what they were beforehand or how they interacted. So it's hard for me to judge watching this. Is, like, is this normal? Like, are they always contentious like that? Are they both kind of always butting heads? You know, Sabine's always ignoring her orders or whatever. Like, so for me, I feel like a little lost. So I'm sure people who have watched Rebels and Clone Wars and are up to speed, like they probably enjoyed this episode more than I did. Uh, I mean, it was a good episode. It wasn't the greatest episode. It wasn't really bad or anything. But for me, I felt a little lost. It was a little, like, um, I wouldn't say boring, but it was just kind of like, it was a lot of exposition, you know. It was trying to catch up people like me, I guess, to kind of what's going on. Introducing Sabine, introducing Hera, introducing Morgan, and these new, um, now two Dark Force users. So... You know, obviously as an introduction first episode, it was it was good, right? It had to do what it had to do, right? I, You know, it was a great um, action sequence between Ahsoka and the um, assassin droids, which I enjoyed. And, um, you know, the Padawan, you know, lightsaber fight, obviously they're Padawan, so I wasn't expecting that much. But um, obviously Sabine has not gotten very far in her training. <laughs> um, so... You know, like I said, I'm not going to judge too harshly on the first episode because it has a lot of, you know, a lot to do 
with introducing new characters for people like me. So uh, let's see what happens in the second episode. Hopefully it picks up the pace a little bit and we'll see where we go from there. So thank you and I'll see you in episode two. Bye.